Let's start with what named ACLs are. Named ACLs were introduced with iOS version 11.2. We can use these ACLs to match packets that have the same parameters. Moreover, we can match these ACLs with standard and extended IP ACLs. Named ACLs offer some advantages. One of them is that iOS identifies named ACLs using names, which we can remember more easily. The second advantage is that we can delete individual lines in an ACL just by entering a simple command. There are a few similarities between named and numbered IP access lists. The items that we can match with a numbered standard IP access list are identical to the items that we can match with a named standard IP access list. Similarly, items in both numbered and named extended IP access lists are identical. There are some differences though. First, in named access lists, we use a global command to place the user in a named IP access list sub mode. Under this mode, the configuration of the matching and permit deny logic takes place. Second, when we delete a named matching statement, only that particular statement is deleted. Observe the example of the named IP access control lists. It shows that the user is to be placed in ACL configuration mode. In the example, we create the ACL using the IP access list extended Robert command. We can also see the output of a show running configuration command. After that, we see the deletion of a single entry from the ACL by using the no deny IP command. 